Hi, I'm Joy Bollinger, Artistic Director for Brucewood Dance, and I'm here with the one and only Lara Lubavitch. So the piece that we're doing that was created by you is Elemental Brubeck. Will you share a little bit about how that work came about? It was actually originally commissioned by San Francisco Ballet, and they had been commissioned by a uh, festival in Paris called the, uh, the Summer Festival, Festival d'Ete. And it was an outdoor theater uh, surrounded by beautiful floral gardens. And the uh, commission was to do pieces to American music. And uh, I grew up in Chicago, where jazz is very much a way of life. And to me, when you say American music, I think jazz. And so I started combing through jazz rep to see what I thought was really danceable. And, and Brubeck, as soon as I found it, just felt like it should be danced to. In this work, it starts with a really exciting solo titled The Red Man Solo. Tell us a little bit about the character of that part and that role and how that um, kind of moves throughout the piece. Well, I think he is a character from mid-century America. And I think the dance is a mid-century modern piece of work meant to capitulate to that time and um, there was a particular uh, language of dance, social dance at that time and uh, I was a teenager at that time and I knew all those steps and did all those steps and uh, plus which there was a specific theatrical vocabulary that was very prevalent in films and television at that time, kind of a, a pop jazz vocabulary and so the idea of the piece was to sort of collect that language, sort of an anthropological look at the language of the people who danced in the 50s. And that character, the Red Man, sort of represents a person from that time, the kind of vigor, the athleticism, and also the innocence. You know, sometimes we think of that as the last innocence. And uh, either it's an illusion or it really is so, but I did want to capture the idea of a time of innocence. And, uh, and he, he kind of is a metaphor for that. The second section moved to this gorgeous pas de deux, the lady in orange, the guy in the blue and grays. You want to share a little bit about your inspiration for that? Uh, well, I mean, I think that, that inspiration other than music itself would be reaching beyond what's authentic. Music is my inspiration and trying to illuminate the music, trying to find a way to see the music. But more specifically to what I do, I'm trying to paint the music. And uh, I'm using the dancers as strokes of color and uh, daubs of paint to create a painted version of space and time, of the way the music feels and sounds to me. So yes, it's a very romantic duet. Um, the intention is to capture the spirit of the music, to embody the spirit. But again, a kind of an innocent um, romance. I want to thank you for being here and thank you for giving us this work. Oh, thank you. It's my pleasure.